Hello there and welcome, I'm Fly Penguin, and we're going to do another run with the Melting Remnant Stygian Guard. Coming at rank 3, and ignore that little little number next to the win streak there. We have had a few games lately that looked good and got us to about fell, and then kind of fell flat. So, we're going to try to do a little bit better. This Sap Seraph is actually kind of good, I'm okay with that. Which means we really just want high attack uh, in the first round, but we're we're not there yet. <laughs> so I'm assuming Blade is the only one out of here that I think is a little bit unusual. It's piercing, deals five damage, but it increases damage by three permanently. So getting that right now in the beginning part of the game is actually uh, is kind of nice because we're gonna be able to use it on some really basic enemies. So how about are you are you consume? Do you consume? You do not consume. I would like this in my hand every single turn if I can. So I don't have any consume cards yet, and we didn't start with anything super strong, so I'm gonna stick with the the always good consume, uh, or concussive coals. Burnout Rector Flicker being 60-60 right off the bat is amazing. We just had to find a way to keep him burnt out. So to to make sure that he doesn't, um, doesn't die too quickly. We are going to take this challenge. I know it's a little spooky without any AOE in the deck, but we do have helical crystals, so that's going to help us like thin some of these. It's not perfect, but it'll work. If I put you there, and then we do maybe like a um, let's just do like a top four kill, kill four. So we pop both of you guys, and then we pop you, and then if I put you there, you're just going to die. So. I'm actually okay with just holding on to him. And we don't have any way of bringing these guys back from the dead yet. We don't have any reformed or anything like that. I'm gonna use that here. Cool, so now the damage goes up permanently. We're gonna take one hit there. And then our drag is going to die, but we're at least gonna thin them out a little bit. So we'll end our turn. Yeah, and we're, we're trading some fire health for the extra gold, but I think that's an okay thing to do, especially in the beginning of the rounds especially in the beginning. Okay, so we'll Frozen you. We can always train Steward. I would like to throw these guys down, but they only have Burnout 1, and so they're not even gonna survive if the enemy shows up, which is kind of unfortunate. So we'll just let that happen. Oh no, Rector's gonna die. Ooh, we are in a bad spot. <laughs> I forgot that Rector not having any way of staying alive means that this first round is going to be a little sticky. So we can do draft. That's easy. We can try to keep you alive. Or I could helical crystals to knock both of these guys out. Um, do, 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 do. No, I think we do this. We do that. And then we just let it take it. So we are going to lose health from on top. That's fine. And we got a little bit of damage on you, not very much. So as much as we can possibly get on you is what we want. So keep you alive, keep you alive, and then we will do that to you. So we have 29 damage right now, that's fine. He's probably going to honestly take most of his damage from the pyre. If I could deal 50 damage with this, could I deal 25 damage some other way? That's only going to do 8. That's only going to do 6. So 50 damage is probably the best thing that I can possibly do. And a train steward, I think. So let's do that. We'll get him down to 10, and then the pyre should kill him pretty easily. Okay, so we're only going to take one hit. That's fine. We didn't really lose that much, and the uh, first enemy's kind of a pushover anyway, so that's fine. We are going to want that... We, I don't think we really need anything else to be completely honest. And the only reason we're even using Purifying Cleanse is to keep uh, Rector, keep him, keep him around essentially. Helical Crystals, I've already, or Helical Crystallis, I've already got two of them in the deck. Not really looking to add more, not worried about these offerings. The Discard Totem is actually kind of interesting to kind of like rotate through to get some of our more crucial cards more quickly. That's not a bad idea, actually. I think I will take that. I I tend to see it as a optional discard draw. Oh, I rolled the mouse real fast. Okay, so if we could get some super good spells, that'd be nice, but a unit in the second round is almost always better, unfortunately, so we are gonna go with that. 
and I absolutely love the Shark Tank. <laughs> it's, <laughs> he's so good. He's so good and he's so easy to make big or to make good. So I just, I just love this guy. And if I can, let's give one of you burnout multi-strike. That's, that's easy enough. If we can get endless in this reroll, by the way, that'd be perfect. I will probably try to make you a little bit bigger and then let's try to get re endless and we got it. That's what's up. Okay. So now this guy's going to be endless. So we don't really have to worry about him, um, taking dying each round. And I don't think there's anyone else I really want to be endless, so draft, it's all you. We could upgrade one of these guys as well. If I do that, yeah, so now they're 40 damage each. Um, I don't want to mess with uh, damage to the train stewards, or damage on train stewards or anyone else. So we'll leave with 35 gold in our hand, that's fine. That's enough to, to go buy yourself something nice. Get yourself something nice, Clark. I absolutely hate this enemy. High Priest to the Light, he is he's definitely going to hit the pyre, so I don't want to mess with the spikes. The sweep enemies are my least favorite because I tend to play with a lot of glass cannon type units, and uh, because of that, he gets super big. He gets super spooky, so that's, that's a little unfortunate. We're going to keep Rector down here by himself. He's going to hold it down, and I think he's going to hold it down. We're going to kill him. That should be fine. Shark Tank, you go on the second floor. Uh, I might have wanted to swap those two actually, but this will work out. So we can do that here. Let's toss that. And now we got the encant. We can apply some more burnout to you. Oh, get over it, your stupid encant stuff. We'll put you back there. Uh, I will actually, I don't want a frozen lance here because I don't want to get you in trouble. So we're going to just get rid of that. And that should be fine. You don't need to play that train steward. We can keep it in there. We've already got the brief respite. Okay, so I would like to have my endless unit down here, but the problem is he's just going to die right away. So I think if I play him, he'll die, and then like maybe he'll get drawn back to my hand a little bit faster. I don't know if that's how that's going to work, but it's how I want it to work. <laughs> so we'll throw you there, and we'll not worry about this draft. This draft, he's not endless. So we got our endless one back, which is fantastic. So we're gonna keep you way in the back. Not that it matters, because you have sweep, and sweep is miserable. Uh, let's scale up our subsuming blade, and then we'll just end that there. Okay, so I think Rector Flicker is going to be doing almost every single piece of damage to him. How did you take so much damage? I think Rector only hit twice, but we are going to get some scaling here, which is nice. I really like getting this uh, weapon scaled up pretty highly in the beginning, so that's going to be really nice for us. Purifying Cleanse, we're kind of already, we've already got one, we're kind of already okay, to be honest. Um, I'm thinking if we could get Holdover on this guy, by the way, that'd be nice. I'm going to skip all of these. And then, uh, same kind of stuff, I don't really want any of these either. 60 damage to a front enemy unit, push to the back, deal 5 damage to enemy units and Frostbite. I think Crypt Builder's fine, Crypt Building's fine. We're going to use that with our token, token, every now and then, but not like consistently. Okay, so what could we duplicate, if anything? I think we could duplicate our draft pretty easily. Uh, we could duplicate Purifying Cleanse. We could duplicate Subsuming Blade, but I think the problem is by having two of them uh, that are both scaling, we're not really, like they're not super cheap, right? So we're not really ever going to be able to play two of them at the same time. So I think we get a Remnant unit, see if it's a Revenge unit, and it is. Friendly Burnout units gain Burnout 1. We put you on the same floor as another draft, now that we have two of them. And then we see what kind of goodies we can get inside. So this is going to work. This is, this is going to work. Um, not bad, not bad. Steel Polyclaw is fantastic. I talked about that a little bit in the last episode. I seem to get it pretty frequently in these YouTube episodes. Daedalus is a little spooky, but we're coming into it much better off than we were in the last episode. Last episode was a little rough. Alright, so damage shield, you can just shove off, dude. I don't want it. I don't want it. Give me that sweet, sweet burnout. Throw my boy Rector there. So he's going to get burnout buffed while she is taking damage, which is perfect. We'll put you there. I don't even care that you have a spell shield. And I don't even... I don't even care. You weren't even there. 
Uh, well, offering totem. Ah, I got the blade, but I don't want it. I was studying the blade. Right. And then Shark Tank did some damage up top. We got the good drafts. We got those good drafts. Put you there. Um, do, 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 do. It'd be better to Frozen Lance here. And 16 damage is not ideal. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Take. He'll be fine. Just get over it. There we go. We we somehow stunned the explosive, which is really bad to be honest, because it's it's a uh, it's just it's just gonna stay there. Like it's not going to um, explode, which is that's kind of annoying. But it's fine. We can helical crystallis. I'd like to use it on Daedalus, but I don't think I'm going to have the ability to. So we're just going to use it down here. Save ourselves a little bit of damage. We'll take two still, but she'll apply burning to everybody, or uh, burn out to everybody. It would be nice to get drip to be able to like push units down here, but we will not get them yet. You're endless, so I'm cool with you sticking around, and then we'll just end our turn. Yeah, that bomb stuck around, which is just kind of annoying, especially if it happens right here, which it did. But he has a damage shield, so two units here will kill it. If we could throw this guy there. And then, how much burnout do you have? You have five, you have three, you have five. Uh, you can use some health, to be completely honest. So it might not be a bad idea to heal you up. I also could throw health on this guy, and he would stick around a little bit longer. So it would be one, two, three. And then we'll do three damage to Daedalus. I think I'm going to heal up the Maiden, or the... Uh, Lady of the Reformed. Yeah, yeah. Get over your stupid uh, free stuff. If we slap that down, that's a lot more damage on Daedalus, which I think is nice in any way you cut it up. We'll do some more damage to Daedalus. And then because I threw him in front, uh, he only hit the... or the, our draft got to hit Daedalus twice. A little bit more. Okay, we're fine with that. We are going to put you back. We are fine with pulley clawing you so this is the strongest unit we're gonna fight so i'm okay with pulley clawing him and then just he'll take two hits and be dead uh this doesn't bother me i would have liked to have played helical crystals and then knock out both of them but i think we're just gonna cut through and then steal deal six damage to to daedalus so this kind of works out i'm really just trying to do as much damage to daedalus as possible before before right now before the relentless starts so now that we have it, uh, we are going to kill him, which is fantastic. Do I have anything that will let me draw cards? No. I didn't even get to use my subsuming blade this turn, so that's a little little wasted opportunity, I guess, but our drafts are doing fine. These guys are fairly strong, actually. I don't use them very often, but they're pretty solid. Consume, discard your hand, draw five. That is going to help us card draw pretty nicely with this... Um, with some of these cards we really need to draw, like Purifying and Subsuming Blade, but it costs two. Two mana is the only frustrating part. If I could make it cheaper, maybe um, Wax and Spike could be good. Enhance friendly units with three damage, and then throw Burnout on everybody. That would be good for our first floor. And it's a Consume card, so like it's not going to chew up our deck. Um, we've already got you. We've already No, we don't have you in the deck. Paraffin... Thug, I don't think is amazing. I don't know. Maybe he'll be fine behind this guy. We'll put him behind Shark Tank. We'll just put him there. Some extra card draw or some extra ember or capacity. Let's do capacity until we get a drip down. Until we get a drip down card, that's pretty important for us. And so I'd like to I'd like to hit the spells, honestly, and then be able to toss. So I know that's that's there's a lot of value on that side, but I want to be able to toss somebody really badly because I want to get these guys out um, as kind of ASAP, and then we can take and see what sort of things we can get. Permafrost is fine because it basically allows me to just hold on to a card as long as I need to. Like Polyclaw would be good, but honestly, removing Consume would be the best thing we could do with that, and we didn't get that anywhere. Cutting down the cost on you would be good. Hold, holdover would be what I really want here. Um, that would be that would be the best thing I could put on this card. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna reroll. 
Double stack. Ah, we're not going to be able to reroll again. Double stack could be fine. Day six. Burnout four. Burnout two. I think day six is going to mean that this can take care of just anything. I want to remove consume as well. Do I have anything that removes consume? I do not. What if we make you cheap? And then we give one of you extra damage but consume. No. One of you extra damage but consume. And then we double stack you? No, you? I mean, our pirate does 30 damage. So as of right now, anything that has less than 90 health is not going to die, or is going to die to this. There's not many cards that we're going to encounter that are going to have more than 90 health. So I don't actually think double stack is super valuable in this situation. I think we purge. We push out a dreg, and we push out a... Never mind, we don't have the money. But we could have pushed down a few things. That would have been... That was the better the better of the two. I will continue to go down this path, make you a, a, a strong, strong young lad. Thank you, Mr. Rector. Mr. Flicker. Mr. Flicker. That's a that's a heck of a last name. Flicker. Do we have we have quite a few cards that actually deal damage, so I don't think I want this spell shield. Especially, I mean, 150 coins is amazing, but if it costs us quite a bit of pyre health, then is it worth it? Not particularly. So we're gonna throw you out there. We're gonna throw you in front. Fantastic. We we should almost always have that combo, and then we put a draft there as well. We will apply some extra burnout to whichever one has less. We'll apply extra burnout to you. You're more important. Frozen Lancia, and not worried about drag. Okay, that worked out fine. So we are gonna toss that. I would like. To have a card like you somewhere close for like finishing off units um we will toss that up there oh i was gonna put the tank i was gonna put the shark tank right here but i forgot so we'll do that oh no i shouldn't have done it i should not have done it because now i have this card and i want to play it and i can't and i'm gonna have to wait two more three more rounds until i can even draw it so that's kind of annoying unfortunate but it's fine we will not let you kill my friend i will not care about this card being burnt down i could consume but both of you are dazed and just going to die and a train steward on the top floor doesn't sound like a bad idea so this works out okay so draft but not the endless draft oh they're both endless we duplicated you okay we duplicated you i forgot we got more than one of you very cool. Alright, a brief respite. So we have not gotten to use our uh subsuming blade. I think we should I think we should really try to get hold over on that bad boy and then just start yeeting cards out of the deck. But it's fine. I haven't gotten to do that yet. So uh draft, you'll go there. You only have one, which means I'm gonna play this guy and give you a little bit of extra burnout. Is that the best thing to do? Yes, because you'll die next turn. I don't really care if he dies. That's fine. Everybody gets some extra strength, and on we go. All right, you'll die. That's fine. Not worried about you burning out. More worried about how much damage we can do to this guy. And nailed it. We'll get the kill. So, is there anything I can do to make sure that I draw this? No, there is not. So in that case, uh, I think we just end our turn. We just let this play out. Very cool. So that was an easy win. That was a very easy win. Uh, I don't know if that means we're strong. I think Rector Flicker with that burnout, the 85-85, like that's a that's a beefy dude. That's a beefy champion. He's uh he's pretty big. We're not actually going the super high death route, which is like one of the things you can do with these melting remnants. We are kind of shifting a little bit more towards the um towards like the keep them alive but not for very long I, I don't i don't really know i don't really know i think I, th I think we stick with this remnant pact i think i think that's the best thing we could do here not amazingly interested in any of the seven plus ma magic power on this floor is not bad especially not because we have the capacity upgrades i mean he's a better he's better than like most of our stuff if I put you on the same floor as 
the Guard of the Unnamed. That would be pretty sick. Why, why is he called Guard of the Unnamed? Just name him Shark Tank and be done with it. Apply Sap 3, discard a card at random. I'm going to avoid a few of these. I think... Yeah, I, I'm going to avoid all of these, actually. I'm going to keep the deck kind of thin, because I really want that Sapping Blade to pop off, um, even though it hasn't. Oh, and I have... Ugh, this is such a good route, but I really want to try to get Holdover on him. I would be losing an artifact and a duplicate. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Nah, this this could this could break the run. Uh, this really could break the run. But oh, I'm doing it. I can't believe I'm doing it. All right, we're gonna go for the concealed caverns. The only reason I'm doing this first is because if it's the event where I want to throw money in, but it is not. What pile do you inspect further? Uh, okay, so. If we gain these, we get 100 damage by playing them, but we only get that effect three times. If we gain this, we gain three damage to every single unit we cast. If we grab this, we restore five pyre health whenever we cast three vengeful shards. So I think these are much better than... No, because that makes us that makes us spend ember. One of these is good. I just don't know which one it is. Maybe calcified embers, because it basically just makes these cards like a hundred damage to the front enemy unit that we only see three times. Ugh, I don't know. Or dead weight. Oh, we do already have one blight. Don't forget. Yeah, we already have one blight, so that's actually going to make this a little bit stronger. And we can't cast dead weight, so this doesn't dead weight doesn't apply to this. Deadweight does apply to this. I think I think we go with the full deadweight. Um, and we, we get all those extra cards, but everyone's going to be a little bit stronger. Hopefully that'll work out. Um, we're not super reliant on card draw based on what we have. Hold over. Hold over. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's all I needed. That's, that's like everything I needed. So we should be in a really good spot. Really good spot. Okay. Um, I can make you free. I honestly just want to reroll and try to get hold over again. Ah, permafrost. All right. Well, that's annoying. Magic power and consume it kind of knocks out those guys. Um, upgrading a spell to cost one less. We could make crypt builder cost one less, but the the idea is to eventually offering token it. It's not a good idea, but it is an idea. All right, that's fine. We're we're okay. What about this? No, this no this no <laughs> just like that's how i feel like i play so much of this upgrade game is you just you just slap upgrades on things and then you just become pleasantly surprised whenever it actually works out um but you know who knows that maybe that's just me i don't want to grab the trial on this one either we're so low in the covenant rankings like covenant three come on uh that we don't we don't really need to be taking chances like that uh not particularly so if we throw you in front you should die which is fine i'm okay with you dying for the good of the realm I am, um, this is amazing. We got this card right off the bat. We would like to throw a thug there, start collecting our gold. We're gonna hold over you. We're going to Lady of the Reformed in front. And then I would have loved to have done this, but I can't, I just don't have the money or don't have the ember. So we are gonna have to maybe snipe a few of these guys with some cards, but that's, that's great. That's fine, completely okay with that. We'll snipe you and train stewards, get up top. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. You are gonna be a little spooky, um, but everyone here is probably going to, he's going for, going to die at least, which is nice. I really need, yeah, there we go. These guys got multi-strike. Multi-strike is what I was looking for so that we can kind of like take them out of the fight. Um, I could also bully claw you. Let's, let's do this first, let's do this first. Let's see what we get. We got that, okay, that's fine. I could kill two enemies here. I could kill no one. No, I could kill you with Steel Pulley Claw. Or do nothing on this floor and just take two damage and apply Burnout. Let's Steel Pulley Claw you. Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to get this back next turn. Uh, okay, that's fine. That sucks. <laughs> that's not fine. This is not fine at all. This is not fine at all. I have messed up. Endless. Who do I want to be endless? Nobody. But you're all going to die. So... I'd like to cast spells on this floor. 
Um, there are no spells worth casting on this floor. Maybe endless to like you or something. I don't know. I think it'd be better off using the the damage down here. To be completely honest, if we throw you here, and then we just throw the spike down, man, that's better than anything else we could do. I think. Yeah, I'm okay with Shark Tank taking a little bit of damage because we really just want to knock out you, and we got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. All right, uh, get in here. Get some burnout. Go ahead. You earned it. We'll throw you down, and there it is. Okay, so I feel I feel pretty good about it because we have so many of these drafts. This penitent remains is really giving us a lot of damage, and even if we feel like it's possible that we are winning of our own merits, we could just be winning because Rector Flicker with burnout is stupidly OP, <laughs> which is could completely be com completely be part of the problem. Okay, Bounty Stalker is a weird card, really he is. Because whenever he dies, I just he just keeps scaling. Kill a random non-boss enemy unit. I don't like that. That's a little too spooky. Let's take the bounty stalker. Let's find a good use for him. He could go somewhere. We still have we still have room. Um, not enthused with any of these. Not don't love that. Don't love that. Don't love that. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of those. I'm gonna stay away from them. We also should probably be thinking about Seraph right about now. What do you do? Temper the strength. So she has sap. Or he. She. I think it's a she. I would like... I guess it's really just Hell's Greatest Foe, so it doesn't necessarily have to have a gender. I would like to go Concealed Caverns, Merchant of Magic, Forgotten Boons. This, this feels good. This feels good. Especially because I wasted so much time doing this earlier. Uh, do any of our units need to be buffed? Like, need to be buffed? No. Not really. I mean, you should. You should get buffed. Uh, you could be bigger. You could be damagier. You have some room. Um, but Bounty Stalker should be fine the way it is, because it's going to scale a little bit. It's only going to scale like three times, but that's fine. His whole purpose is kind of just to come in, assassinate somebody, and then leave. So we'll see what we get from here. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, it's the duplicate. Uh, purge card, gain a card, purge card, gain a card. We definitely purge. We definitely purge a train steward. Right? Right? Okay. Uh, it's gonna reach and throw me a card. I would like a rare melting remnant card. And <laughs> we got a wax in spike. Um, yeah. Let's grab it. We already have one, but, uh, that is nice to know that that's rare. Which actually, I didn't know. I don't really know what the little gems on the cards mean. I know each one of them is a different like level of rarity. So that's rare. That's champion. Uh, this is common. I guess you're still common. What's the middle? Uncommon, I guess. Uncommon. Rare. Yeah, I don't know what's rarer than rare. Like, is there like a uh, is there a legendary or something? I don't know. I don't know. Remove consume. That's what we want. We want that so much. Thank you so much. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's some that's good eats. And then we take off the negative of it. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay. Very cons very happy with that. Double stack, not so much. Double stack, not so much. The things I can use it for are not great. Um, that would be solid. This would be good. Just get it out of the deck. Uh, upgrading one of these guys. Zero. Zero. I, I could do this just to make them even. I mean, not just to make them even, obviously. There's other reasons to do so. We're going to pull out you. And we're going to pull out nothing else because I don't have any money. <laughs> nothing else. That'll be fine. What if we consume one of these guys? Yeah. And then we ideally we pull them out. But we're not always going to get that luxury. So by making them consume, we at least pull them out of the deck during the fight. During the fight. Alabasta Guardians. Okay, so we have a good setup. I like I like that we draw a Lady of Reformed. I don't know if it, I, I'm assuming that's like on purpose. There's probably something built in to where you always draw, you know, a a unit to start the game or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I know exactly what the situation is. What if we frozen lance? Is there anything that's gonna make you take like a weird amount of damage? No, you're gonna die this turn anyway. Let's just do that. Throw you there. Okay, this is working out. 
We did get a bunch of revenge off of off of this, which is nice, but she's... Oh, no, she's not low on health at all. She's 34. Good job. Good stuff. Good stuff. We could just consume and yeet you. Could also give you one of those. Tell you what, if we yeet you, are you going to die now? You are not. You're still not going to die. Oh, yeah, spell shield. Should have frozen lanced. Mistakes. Mistakes were made. That's fine. Nothing here scares me. Um, all those guys are super, super dead, especially when they get up here. Uh, all of these guys, you're a little spooky just because you're going to kill me. Stealth, one, extinguish, plus ten permanently. Am I going to extinguish anything? No. If we throw you there, though, you will do fine. So, they're both going to attack him. If I throw it on a ten, they're still not going to kill him. So I'm thinking we put him in, like, front... Because he, he really gets better when he dies, as dumb as that sounds. So we're kind of okay with you dying, but he's stealth, so he's going to do some damage, and then he'll probably just die on the next turn. And then we'll just heal you up. We'll just keep you moving. And then I would like to give everybody some burnout and some damage. I don't care that you got armor. You're still dead, dude. You're still dead. Yeah. Yeah. How you feel about that? How you feel about that? You're dead. You can't feel about it. Can't feel about it at all. I will easily... Offering Totem the dead weight to gain another dead weight. <laughs> Stonks. If I toss this at you, how do we feel about hitting Fell? We're not going to hit Fell. That's okay. That's okay. Now we still won't hit Fell. But at least we'll kill this guy. We won't have to mess with him next turn. Maybe we'll hit Fell on the second floor next turn. Ah. Rector Flicker had if Rector Flicker had uh, trample, he would have done so well in that fight. Ah, she went up to the third floor. Dang it, that's very frustrating. I would love to just pulley claw your butt up there. So uh, later, dude. Let her rip. If we toss this subsuming blade on you, now it's holdover. What did you gain extra? How did you gain extra damage? What? What? No. How did you get an extra damage? Am I crazy? Did I see that? Oh, I think the plus two was for my card. It was probably for this card. No, it was plus two. I could have sworn it was plus two. I don't know what happened. I'm going crazy. Uh, I can't play this guy anywhere, which is unfortunate because I don't have any ember. That's why. One, two, three. Someone just please kill my stealth unit. Someone someone just, just kill him. Can I? I could just axe him, to be honest. Um, what do you get? Harvest. I could just axe you. Gonna be honest, that's looking pretty tasty right about now. I think we axe you, dude. I'm sorry, bro. It's not, don't take it personally. Um, you just, uh, it needed to be done. If we could, what if I told you that these guys have plenty of consume, so it doesn't matter, but I would like to boost their damage by six. Yes, I think that's... That's way better than just the cheap 60 damage right here, I think. Way better. Because we're going to get this damage three or four fold whenever he becomes rel relentless. Okay, so if we could get you down to 26 damage, that'd be ideal. Um, we're not going to be able to do that. Doesn't look like it. But we could do some fun stuff like Ascend You. We could do 26, 26, which would put you at what? put you at not enough. We'll consume, and then we'll do it again. No, I just want to pulley claw you. Ah, no, I want this in my hand next turn instead. Alright, we'll just end. That's fine. We're gonna kill him anyway. Alright, so there's the relentless. There it is. Alright, draft. Get in there. You got this. Uh, offering totem on the second floor to give you some armor. We'll toss out the dead weight. Give you some damage, and we'll just do it on you, just to hit you. All right, 714 damage, not bad. Our draft is going to die. I didn't really think about that. Uh, you will tank a few hits, but then I don't know if you'll do enough. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. If we, I don't know if we got enough in us. I don't know if we have it. Some of our draft units are endless, though, so we should be able to throw those in there. We did get them. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Now that we have these guys, I'm not worried about it. Uh, they should be able to do 
not enough. <laughs> not enough. Okay. Uh, 26 damage would be sick. You're gonna be so close. So close. Okay. So between endless units, I don't think we're gonna do it. Uh, but our our pyre should our pyre should take them out. So we're gonna play you. We're gonna play you. We're gonna give you another endless. You're not even gonna get through this guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll knock you dead. Because then you'll just die on one hit. Which is much better. Alright, so one hit. That's fine. That's fine. Could have been a lot worse. We got out of that situation a little bit. Got lucky. I think Fel could have just, just mauled us. Uh, we have plenty of damage to the first enemy unit. Especially because you can only play that in the top two floors. Same with this. This is basically Polyglaw. It's basically a Polyglaw. It's not bad. It's really not bad. Ascend times three for everyone that gets up top. I, I think I'm sleeping on this one. I'm going to be honest. I think I'm sleeping it. Sleeping on it. Let's go. Let's go with Siren Song. Let's try it out. And what are we limited by? What are we limited by? It's not really Ember anymore. Um, I think we might actually be card draw. Capacity's still annoying that we don't have enough to send all these drafts on the same floor. Ah, let's go capacity. I've changed my mind. We never actually got a downward or a uh, drip, so we're still kind of dealing with the dealing with the effects of that. Uh, an artifact, being able to buy one artifact and then purging two cards, I think is going to be what we want. And then we're going to purge a frozen lance and a dreg. So let's go this way. And let's let's grab the artifact when it's free first. Extinguish triggers an additional time. When you summon a second unit during a turn, gain three. Okay, how many extinguish units do we have? We have you. And that's about it. That's about it. Okay, so summon it is. And we will remove, as I said, a drag. Get get out of here. Get your frozen lance out of there. And then now we can see what we can buy. And the answer is nothing. We can buy absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, I would have liked Trader Squill. Because we have a few consumed cards. I would have liked hammer chest plates as well. I would have liked so much stuff. So much stuff. So much stuff. Offering tokens not doing it for me. Um, what else is not doing it for me? Paraff and Thug, you gotta step your game up, dude. I haven't upgraded you at all. So it's not like it's my fault or anything. Drag, uh, you're good for picking off random units. Actually, everyone kind of has a place now. We're kind of doing okay. I don't need to spend that 100 gold. We will spend... A bunch of money on trinkets next round just to for the, just in time to see if we win or not all right but so far this is this is solid the 150 what what my boy rector you've been hitting the gym you've been you not you're not just hitting the gym you're you're like putting in submission i don't i, I don't want any i don't need your 400 coins i want higher health higher health over coins right now that's that's the biggest thing that I want. I just need to survive through these fights. So Rector, my man, you know what you gotta do. Uh, Lady of the Reformed has to be in front so that she goes up front. Draft, you get the you get the bonuses from Lady the best. Uh, and then honestly, let's just slap twelve. Just slap twelve on these guys right now. If that didn't consume, that'd be really really good. But because it consumes, which I guess is part of it. Uh, we're not getting a ton of value out of it. I mean, we're getting value out of it, but we're not getting a ton of value out of it. Helical crystals could knock you out. You are going to die anyway. Brap and Thug, give me that money. And then now, because we played so many units, we got a ton of Ember. So we're going to toss you, get you in the back. Um, do I need to apply Endless? Like, does one of you need Endless? You, oh my god, everyone's going to die. You need endless. I want you back. Don't get lost. Come back. Are you gonna live now? No, you're not gonna live now because you have harvest. How did she die? What did I miss? Did someone have spikes? Was there something going on there? I don't know what just happened. I'm gonna be honest with you. I well, I wonder if she had something that was like. I don't know. She's back. That's fine. It was just it was just all a distraction. 32 times 2. We can throw you on the second floor. 
I probably should have thrown her thrown him down here on the first floor. We'll put the tank between those two. Oh, I should have made him endless, to be honest. If I if I had held on to that card, that would have been a much better use of it. We'll do that. And then we can't actually play that card, so that's fine. Alright, so she got enough burnout that everybody's yoked. Four, six, six, eight. That's good. We're gonna steal pulley claw forty times what is it? Times three. So we should be able to hurt you, but not kill you. And we can change that by doing this. So how do these guys... Oh, they deal five damage to the front enemy unit. Okay, so that's why that's why she died previously. This is a really rough hand, by the way. But at least we'll have a better one on our next round. So that's all we need. Okay, and Rector's fine. Rector doesn't care. He's got burnout 14. He's, he's just chilling. So we're going to throw <laughs> literally all of them back. Yeah, you're better. Just gonna just gonna build up our team again. That's fine. Just gonna build them back up. 26 damage piercing is best used on one of you, I think. It is. We could put you in front just to tank a shot, but like, who cares, man? Just get out there. Just get out there. Go go see what you can do. All right, we're we're looking really good. Looking really good. Another draft unit here plus. A. Ah, oh, I wish I had one more unit I could play so I could get more Ember, but we have some dead weight. So, I would like to do one of two things. I can either throw down the Waxing Spike, which I feel like I should to keep these guys burned out, or kill something of my own, such as this Dreg, with the Subsuming Blade, and then hope these guys come back to me next turn which I don't have a guarantee that they will. I don't have a guarantee that they will. I think we just do this, and then we lose our subsuming blade, as unfortunate that, as that is. I really wanted to make sure these guys stuck around for the fight, and they're gonna kill him. Oh, they're gonna kill him. They're gonna kill him. You guys are the best. We'll give you some burnout. We will, let's offering our offering for the first time, okay? We actually did that right. Uh, he didn't even die. That sucks. Uh, we could just yote you up to the pyre room, but that would not go well. He would he would basically just destroy our pyre. So don't glad I did do that. Just not thinking it through. Uh, we will get the kill. We should get the kill. I think Rector is going to be the one that deals the kill blow because he's just yoked out of his mind. There it is. Rector's. Those things look like little maces with with uh, incense in them. No, there's like ball bearings in that thing. It's it's full. Yeah, this is worthless now. It's a friendly unit death each battle. Uh, that's not that big a deal. We're trying not to die. Reform, not really worried about that. We'll skip. We're actually we're actually doing okay without the reform. We're just kind of taking the lady, the um, the lady, the reformed, and then making sure that our what should be bad burnout cards are not bad, but like good but short-lived cards. We just make sure that they stay alive as long as possible. So it works. It's it's a weird combo, but it works. I'm sure there's a name for this type of deck. I don't know the all all the archetypes that people have kind of come up with besides like the obvious ones, you know, spiked spiked awoken and and whatnot. If I could do anything here, I would duplicate my um I don't think I have that many things I would duplicate. Maybe like a wax on spike or a Sasumi blade. I could yote one of those cards out. No, you can't purge them. That's right, can't purge them. We are gonna get this no matter what, so maybe the gold and spells is better. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just prep for the final fight. We gain some money. We see what kind of artifacts are in here. Okay, you are good. I think Flicker's Lictor, Licker is solid. Forever Flame is actually not that good for us because we have, uh, oh, these are cost, one cost units, but most of our, most of our cards are so low. Uh, a reroll here would be fine. Let's see what we got in this store. Permafrost is probably the weaker of the things we could get, in my opinion. Uh, we don't really need to use any of these, except maybe like hold on to Siren Song, hold on to Remnant Pact. Yeah, let's. All right, this is what we're doing. We're gonna reroll here. Hold over. What do we want to hold over? I would like to hold over a card that lets me. You. 
Ah, oh, your slots are full. Yes, your slots are full. Um, you'd be good. You'd be good as holdover. You'd be good as holdover. I think you'd be best as holdover. Free damage, basically. No, let's do this to make sure we always can burn out a unit. And then, let's leave this door. Let's go here. We will re-roll now. Let's see what we got. Three magic power is okay. It's a little late. Um, apply days three to enemy units that are moved between floors outside of the extension phase. So, we don't have any cards except Steel Pulley Claw and Siren Song. So it makes these two cards stronger, but not by much. Um, both of those cards are meant to be on mobs, not on the main boss, so they're not going to make Seraph do that much more. I think we almost take the Pyre gains 15 damage, or the plus 3 magic power. Plus 3 magic power on these guys would do like 6 damage each. Uh, a little bit of stuff there. Yeah, yeah. I think we have to. I think it's really the only thing that's any better than what we got, so. Your Pyre gets 15. That's going to save us. If we get into a bad spot, I think that's going to save us. It's going to be better than um, doing like six extra damage. Okay, here's where stuff gets spooky. Seraph the Temperant. The end is near. The Incarnation of Hell's greatest foe will temper the strength of your units. Bring it on, Seraph. Let's go. Let's do it. You and me. You and me and my, my merry band of waxy men. All right, Rector, you're first up. Harvest and slay. I'm okay. I need to find a way to kill you, which is nice because I have a way to kill you. Uh, we will we'll do a quick little, quick little one-two. That's nice. And then we'll do a little one of these, and then we'll toss you up there. And we could just get 26 damage straight off the bat on her. Yeah, you're taking that damage no matter what. So we'll just do that. Not bad, not bad. Everybody getting minus one sap every single turn, though, is going to be really annoying. All right. So our pyre does 55 now, which makes this card much better. That's I didn't even think about that combo. So now we're going to be able to get 165 damage on anyone we pull up there, which means you are just... You're, you're done, so dude. And then can cast this on one of you probably the stronger of the two of you you're both the same amount of strong get out of here no if I play another unit no that's not gonna work sorry I'm deliberating this pretty heavily I know I'm deliberating it very pedantically we will throw that on you I think we just murder one of you and then just chill we're not getting our uh, reforms lady, which we like drastically need. We desperately need her because I do not want Rector to die. Yeah, if Rector dies, I'm in a super bad spot. Oh my gosh, we got her on this turn. Okay, so he has burnout three still. We got her on this turn. That's fine. We're good to go. Now we got Giraffe. We know where he goes. Um, we know we need to kill one of the strong ones. So let's get rid of you. Next turn, I could use these. this. No, I don't want to use that. Restore 10 health, and if I burn out two. Let's give you some more health, and then we can't really play this. So, we need our units. We don't have any units built up. We have to... That's This is kind of frustrating. Okay, there we go. There we go. Toss you there. You deserve it. Um, This would kill. This would kill. That's fine. So we know what we can do here. I don't really care about this. Everyone else is going to die. She's going to take 18 damage, but we can heal her up a little bit, which is nice. All right, so let's let's yote you and you, and then we'll just chill. Not the best, not the best. It's like we're not drawing the right cards in the right order that we normally would, which normally we'd be fine. Um, the only way I can heal you is by giving you endless and just hoping I get you next turn, because otherwise you're screwed, dude. She... Seraph threw all these units in this in this round, so we're we're not in a good spot. Could kill you pretty easily. Her dying is is miserable. We don't really want her to die. She's also not endless, so 
I think she's the most important unit because as long as Rector's alive, we're doing okay. Um, I could throw a draft back here. And they're going to kill him. One, two, three. They would just kill draft. They would just kill him immediately. So, um, If we do that, we make sure that doesn't happen. I think we, we try to discard the draft. Okay, that's not the best. Um, how do I... You're going to die, and he's going to be gone, and I'm not going to be able to handle that. Or, like, save him in any way. If I toss out the draft... Won't he come back? Who do I need to keep burnout on? These two are going to die. She's going to... Well, it's free. That's the big thing. So I can't play both of these. Let's toss out the draft. Let's discard. Let's use this to make sure that Rector is going to be around. And then we, we double down on some damage there. He's going to gain a little bit of armor, but not really. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so not the best. Um, we really just want these mobs to get to make it through without me taking a ton of damage. So we'll toss you down there. I would like to make sure that you gain some burnout. I would like to kill the strongest of you, and then we chill. Okay, that's fine. This is spooky, man. Seraph gets so much stronger every single Covenant level. Like it's it. It's uh, it's nothing to joke about. Nothing to joke about at all. And I would love that card. Uh, I would love the one that lets me... Yeah, Siren Song. I would love Siren Song right now, but I just have too many dead weights in my hand. I think I, I'm definitely falling prey to that problem. To that uh, situation. So, you getting some Harvest is fine. Because I don't really care if he gets armor. So we're going to kill you. We... If we could have given Burnout to one of these guys, that would actually be kind of funny because they would burn out before they got up to the top floor. Like he would, or any of these would, which is kind of interesting. Oh, it says to a friendly unit. Okay, never mind. Well, forget that. Let's keep you alive, and we'll give you some extra damage because damage is kind of at a premium right now. And so we're going to lose some health. So we have 92. So this, like, these two guys by themselves did 40 damage, which means this is looking spooky. So we got to kill Seraph. And we just do not have the damage. Ah. Uh, we'll throw you down. We'll throw you like here or something. I don't really care. Um, if we deal 50 damage to you, we now do 450 to him. If we heal you up, you live long enough to keep Everyone alive a little bit longer. I think we lose. I think I don't think we can do it. I don't think we have enough card draw. I think card draw is going to be our is our big downfall. Um, we have all this capacity, but there's just nothing we can do with it. Like the the capacity is just um, we didn't draw the right cards to be able to even even start doing it, and we lost our big massive our big boy Rector Flicker. So not good. Not not good. Uh, holdover. We could. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can't, we can't do any of them. So, that's it. I think that's, uh, I think that's the end of it. Yeah, I can hurt you a little bit. I can heal you up, but I'm not gonna be able to kill everybody. They're just gonna go upstairs and die. Yep, that's it. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. My name is Fly Penguin, and I put out Monster Train content, uh, especially on the weekends, but mostly every day. And I would appreciate if you enjoyed this content, if you liked it, because that's going to be the best thing that pushes me through the algorithm as a new content creator. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.